I got the point. Kitty doesn't play anymore. Oh no, what's the matter little kitty? Kitty can't win, it's hard. Winning and losing are a part of the game kitty. Even great players like Roger Federer have faced defeats. What makes them special is their sportsmanship and the ability to come back stronger. Really? Absolutely. So, let's learn from one of the greatest tennis players of all time. None other than Roger Federer. Zoom in! On the auspicious day of August 8th, 1981, in the serene beauty of Basel, Switzerland, Roger Federer was born to a Swiss-German father, Robert Federer, and a South African mother, Lynette Federer. Roger grew up in a loving and supportive family, and at the age of merely four, his life changed when he witnessed Boris Becker winning his first title in 1985. This inspiration led young Roger to pick up a racket and start playing for fun. And by the age of 10, his remarkable talent prompted him to begin taking group lessons at the Old Boys Tennis Club, where he had a unique and humble start as a ball boy, retrieving and supplying balls for players. These experiences as a ball boy played a crucial role in shaping Federer's understanding of the sport as they allowed him to witness firsthand the intense battles, mesmerizing strokes and strategic brilliance displayed by the tennis legends who graced the courts as it further fueled his ambition for the game. Roger's love for tennis kept growing as he spent hours honing his skills and managed to play his first junior match in 1996 at the age of 14 at a grade 2 tournament in Switzerland. His main accomplishments as a junior player came at Wimbledon in 1998 when he won the boys' singles final before turning professional and entering the big tournaments. Federer made his ATP debut at the 1998 at the Swiss Open Stade in his home country of Switzerland, but was knocked out in the first round. The journey ahead was challenging as he faced difficulties in achieving breakthroughs in Grand Slam tournaments in the following years. Despite his undeniable talent, he encountered disappointments and came close to winning major titles but fell short. These setbacks could have discouraged a lesser individual, but Federer persevered, using each defeat as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. So he increased his practice and training efforts, determined to reach new heights. Soon his dedication paid off as he achieved a significant milestone in 2003 by winning his first Grand Slam tournament at Wimbledon. The following year, he successfully defended his Wimbledon title and emerged as the champion at the Australian Open and the US Open, solidifying his position as the number one tennis player. This marked the beginning of a period of dominance for Federer, with many remarkable victories to come. However, in 2008, Federer's remarkable 65-match winning streak on grass courts came to an end when he lost to Nadal in the Wimbledon final. This defeat also caused him to lose his number one ranking, a position he had held for an unprecedented 237 weeks. Despite the frustration, Federer never gave up. With unwavering determination, he focused on improving his game and made a remarkable comeback in June 2009 by winning the French Open, completing a career Grand Slam of all four major tennis tournaments. But by 2013, 
Federer also had to face tough challenges due to injuries to his knee and back, which made it difficult for him to play. He had to take breaks from the game, have surgeries and go through intense rehabilitation to get back in shape. However, in 2017, he made a triumphant comeback by winning the Australian Open and securing his record 8th Wimbledon title. And at the age of 35, Federer became the oldest player in the Open era to claim the Wimbledon men's singles title. Then in September 2022, Federer announced his retirement from professional tennis, leaving behind a historic legacy that continues to inspire others with his remarkable achievements. Trivia time! Did you know that Federer holds the record for being the oldest tennis player to be ranked world number one? Yes, he achieved this feat in 2018 at the age of 36 years and 314 days old. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Tanya Sambrekar. Hope you felt inspired today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>